Hi, thanks for joining me here at BF Fabrics Gorilla Spinning. Today I have to uh, card some BFL that I've dyed, so I thought I'd show you my process for doing that. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers. Sorry I haven't posted in a while, middle of craft fair season. Gotta make hay while the sun shines. So we're gonna take this BFL and we're gonna turn it into roving like this, all with just my drum carter and I'll show you how that's done. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open this up a bit because if we try to put this through the drum card or all these little tips are just going to turn into noils. So the easiest way to do that is to start from the base of the lock and just pull. Hold on to the tips and they'll just pull apart. If you get a really chunky spot then work it sideways for a bit and pull again and you can see how the little tips are all just pulling apart and opening up put that up there and as you go you can find little bits of veggie matter you can just pluck those right out don't want those to go into your bat to come out in your roving and you just keep going like this until you have a whole bunch ready for your drum carter. Don't be too terribly picky, you just kind of want to loosen them up and then you'll let the drum carter do the worst of the work. If you get any little tips that break off or become little noils, just pull them out too. So just keep working your way through the fleece. So let's see. Here's a good section I can show you on. So there's the lock. You can see how the tips are really tightly wound. And if you try to pull from there, you could be pulling forever. Whereas if you start from the cut end, just pinch a little bit, hold the tips tight, pinch a little bit and pull and look. All fluffy. So pinch, hold the tips in your other hand firmly Pull, pull, pull. So just hold firmly at the tips, grab the cut end. Not the whole thing. If you just grab the whole lock, you're just going to pull the lock out. You just want to grab like a few fibers off the side and pull. Get that bit of gunk out of there. And as you do that, it'll pull the tips apart on its own. A lot less effort than trying to sit there and pull the tips open. All right, so I'm just going to keep picking away at this until I have enough to start my bat. And then I'll come back and show you that part. All right, so I have my basket of picked fiber here. Got my drum carter, just a brother standard drum carter with uh, medium teeth. You can see I've been uh, already carding some. So since I'm doing the same fiber and color, I haven't bothered cleaning my drum carter, but if I switched colors, I would. So just throw some on the tray. If you have any locks like this that are still kind of structurally sound, try to feed them in sideways, and then the teeth will actually pull it open for you. So we'll just feed it on a little bit at a time. So you can see some of the fiber is nice and smooth. Let me just adjust the camera a bit here. There we go. Some of the fiber is nice and smooth, but there's still some tangled, gnarly bits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up my drum. Then I'll pull it off and run it through a couple more times. And when I have it as smooth as I want, I'll come back and show you how to dissolve roving. All right, so I carded this three times and it's now as smooth and aligned as I'd like it to be. Now we're making roving, not top. Top is done with combs and is all perfectly aligned, just the longest, best fibers. This is roving so the fiber isn't like fully aligned and there's different sizes and lengths. So we need a couple little tools. 
So what I have is the top off a squeeze bottle. And I just cut the tip off to make the hole the size I wanted it. Now usually you can just twist the end and shove it through. But in case that doesn't work, I have this handy dandy little darning needle that I picked up at Walmart. It's great. So what you need to do is take your favorite tool for breaking your bat. In my case, I use my old bent knitting needle, which works just great. Now you only want to take just a little bit off the end. So break your bat. There's a little bit of veggie matter still in there. We'll just get that out. There we go. So take this end, lay it over so that it's going to feed into your other fiber. Now, take this, pull it up to a tip, give it a bit of a twist, hold it in half. Now see, it's gonna be contrary. So I'll use my handy dandy little learning needle. Feed it through there. And then feed it through my cap. Cake decorating tips will work for this too. I just find this is good because I like to make a nice thick roving. So then all you do, see how that's up? You want to push it all the way down to be against snug against the drum carter. Grab your fiber, holding this cap against the teeth, pull. Turn your drum up and pull. Turn your drum up and pull. Now, if you have a motorized drum carter, you can just lock it in place. I find that the fiber comes off smoothly enough that I don't need to worry about locking it down. And sometimes you get a really good run going and it'll just turn itself. Now, keep trying to push it that way so it keeps grabbing onto the fiber beside it. Otherwise, you'll just end up with one strip of roving the size of your drum. Just keep pulling. Now always just keep your diz, in this case my squeeze bottle cap, against your teeth. Because if you pull it up, then it'll let the roving thin and it'll break. See, against the teeth. And you can see I'm getting a nice thick roving out of this. Make sure that you keep it off your drum carter, otherwise it'll get back into the teeth and it'll uh, tangle up. So, lift the fluffy stuff across. Keep working your way across. Sometimes you have to get an elbow in there to hold the handle so it doesn't spin back on you. But if you get a good run going, it'll come off nice and smooth. And you can see there's still fiber left on the back, on the drum. I don't worry about that. I'll get it later. For now, I'm just getting as much roving dizzed off as I can. And it's actually a substantial amount. Just keep working your way across. All right, I'm just going to break this off and I'll finish. If you do it right, you can leave it set up so that you're ready to go for your next batch because sometimes it gets rather long. So. Here's my pile of roving. It's a nice, light, fluffy prep. And it's a long strand of it. And it's ready for spinning or felting or whatever else I'd like to do with it. So that's my method. Thanks so much for watching. You can contact me at bffart at gmail.com. Leave a comment here or find me on Facebook Tamsin Juby, BF Fiber Arts. Thanks.